Hey guys, welcome back to... Oh man, it's been a while. What is this thing called? Uh, it's like the thing where I review the games and it's, um... Uh, you know, there's like a lot of... Oh, there's like a lot of games and I review them and it's... Oh, it's called the Global League Review. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so, um... Let's just get right into it. We're starting with the 700s, as we always do. Um... So, I've been getting a lot of submissions lately about people sitting me in stuff to look at and i didn't have any for the 700 rated um for the 700 region so you know in the 700 so i i went back to our you know perennial favorite disco dave um so disco dave we all love disco dave um he shows us a lot of interesting ways how to play the game and um and we, we're always rooting for him so we get to see another disco dave here game here and then his opponent here is ringtail and i'm a dupus and i showed you the result beforehand so um hopefully you don't go see that so yeah ringtail's rated uh 729 and disco dave i think is set so yeah 715 so yep yeah, um beginning level players for sure so uh let's get into the map so the map here is feast of fortune which is uh Voice of Akasha map that has uh, recently been featured in Global League. Um, it's a standard map, and uh, here we see Sammy versus Max. Um, so Disco Dave opts to go with Sammy, doing the Sammy Lord thing. And I think, I don't know, I really haven't played this map more than once, maybe. Um, Sammy seems like an all right choice because, like, Mountains, Max um, seems pretty good. And then I guess Max can also make sense because there's double airports. And then there's also, uh, I mean, I guess the center being kind of like heavy terrain is not his favorite, but it's somewhat open. Um, and then on the sides, it's open too. Although on the sides, it, it's not really open on the sides. Not, it, like to be <laughs> to be honest, actually, it's it, like you can get run into artillery blobs that Max um, is too fond of. So yeah, let's get into the game then. Uh, let's see. Okay, so just a few moves in. Oh wait, hold on. It, it, I forgot. It's a Disco Dave match, so we have to pay attention to every move. Actually, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. All right, so the first move by Disco Dave is Infantry, Infantry. Okay, all right. Fair enough. And then Ringtail's first build is mech no is mech base skip. Okay, so that's like the definition of unconventional um, as soon as possible, pretty much. Um, now, I mean, like the one thing I will say about the mech is like with the mech, it reaches it does this capture chain. It goes here into here into here and. Um, the same amount of time that an infantry does and then it's a mech in the mountains which is kind of nice but you know it's a max mech it's not the not not it's not a sammy mech which i wouldn't even really consider base skipping for that either um especially because yeah it's like an early infantry build so and going for the comm tower instead of the base so I, I'll be honest, right now, Disco Dave is looking a little bit shown up. Um, it, it looks like somebody is kind of playing his own game better than he is, so I, I hope he kind of steps it up for the rest of the match here in terms of unconventional, um, interesting play. So Disco Dave here goes down, sure. Okay, it looks normal. Okay, and then a base skip here... Um, that kind of looks like he forgot to do it, unless he's saving up for a mech, which would be insane. Double base skip for a mech. That would that would bring Disco Dave back into the game in terms of the swag factor but that he's currently lacking. But, you know, this empty base skip saving for mech, that's, uh, he's, he's making the right moves for that to, to get back in the game here. Um, so Ringtail finishes the capture on the comm tower, which... Um, Okay, I mean, important thing that I didn't know for, like, years is that a comm tower doesn't give you any money. So it was at the beginning of the game you want to capture your 
you want to capture the the properties first the con tower and uh labs also do not give you money but um so yeah I, I like that's that's something i didn't know for like literally three years playing this game <laughs> and then when i learned i felt like an idiot but it's okay now you know if you didn't before so mech goes up here um actually it does look like it can do the chain um city into here into airport which is also like as fast as an infantry would do that chain um however i still don't like um the base skip the very early base skip and of course like skip like opting not to capture this base and when i say base skip i mean like not building on a base every, every turn so not building on a base here the previous turn and then also skipping the opportunity to opportunity to capture this space immediately um both of those are things you want to avoid um you like to have a lot of units around so you can like shield and uh capture their cities faster all that stuff okay so disco dave goes for the tower here again um kind of a mirrored opening but disco dave did the correct thing and going for the base first and then um yeah, a comm tower capture, I guess, is like superfluous. As long as he goes and captures one of these two cities next turn, it's optimal. Um, although I think I would actually prefer to see capture here and then immediately capture this city and then immediately capture this city. Um, generally speaking, you want to like order your captures so that um, you do your chains of captures. The longest chain goes first. It's like how it works in a vacuum. Okay, so some infantry moves here. The mech goes for the property as expected. Okay, so that was a pretty normal looking turn. Which, uh, yeah, I think we were all a bit surprised about. But um, so you have going back here, going for this airport. Um, okay, uh, good looking moves here. Okay, another good looking turn. Both of them starting to pull it together here. Um, yeah, also good looking turn. Just like the idea is you take out your you know early infantry, go for the properties, all that good stuff. Um, like as you can see here, like he has two infantry capturing these two properties down here. Um, if one of them would have started on this chain, I think he would be about here. So this one infantry down here probably would have captured these two properties instead of just this one that it's about to capture. Okay, and actually it looks like the mech is going to... Well, it could go for this city, but I would prefer going for the airport because uh, B-copters are pretty nice on this map. Um, one of the things to think about when you're evaluating... Do I build B copters? Do I build tanks? Um, if the B copter can do stuff like dance around mountains, like hit over here and then go across the mountain where the anti air can't chase it and hit something over here, um, that's a pretty good. It's a pretty good setup for the for the B copter. So if I, if I max with an airport right here, I'm thinking, okay, I should probably aim for a B copter pretty soon, just to see if I can get some good value out of it. Okay, whoa, Disco Dave. Okay, all right, double recon. So that is really spicy. Um, yeah, that is... I mean, it's kind of cool because the edges are really light terrain. So you look at how far the recons can move in each direction. So, yeah, that is like a really interesting move. Um... And it looks like Disco Dave also skipped a lot of a lot of captures along the way in order to get this airport really early. Um, so let me follow this infantry. So that is the first infantry down here, down here, airport capture, and then do some capturing over there. So it looks like so Disco Dave actually gets his airport as soon as possible. 
Um, and then I think he kind of, uh, I would say this is kind of like wasting some airport time. Uh, if you're going to rush for an airport in a way that kind of delays your capture game, uh, you want to make sure that you get use out of your, having your early airport. So how do you use an airport? You just build stuff out of it. So maybe if you would have done this and then built an immediate um, transport copter, um, that could have been a pretty good option. Instead of a recon, maybe do a T-copter here. Um, alternatively, you could have done B-copter, but um, yeah, maybe that's good. But I guess as Sammy, you probably don't want to play B-copter versus B-copter versus Max because uh, it just seems like he's going to win that. All right, so in the meantime, so it looks like the mech is indeed going for the airport, which I really like. And inventory going for the center here. Okay, answering recon with recon. Um, so there's like a term that we use when, so he's all, he built all of his units and he has $7,000 left over. Advanced Wars bucks. Um, there's like a term from StarCraft called like floating money, where you have a lot of money left in your bank after the end of your turn. Um, I think there's no reason this couldn't be like a tank maybe, um, and then like get some presence in the center. Or um, Max could have gone for something kind of cheesy, not cheesy, but like kind of sneaky and unintuitive and gone for an anti-air. Then the anti-air can lock down this airport um, and kind of do all this stuff on the attack stuff on the outer uh atta attack these outer cities and then also of course anti-air is a good matchup against recon so um yeah the anti-air and then follow up by a tank to deal with the tank that would probably come up from sammy that seems like a pretty good combo to me um recons um i guess the way that i think about recons is like I'll almost, I don't think I'll ever build a recon with the purpose of killing other recons. It's more of like a harassing tool. So now it's like harassing e recon versus harassing recon. So I guess that's okay. Um, but I think that with $7,000 left over, I think it'd be better to go with something more sturdy like a tank. So you could like really both shut down the recon and do some solid harassment or do the anti-air, which does the same thing, just gets countered by a tank. Okay, so it looks like a free shot on this infantry here, which kind of hurts. Like, Matt, it, you know, never give up free shots if you don't have to. Okay, another max mech. Um, so once again, uh, I think like one way to think about max and eagle building mechs, which I'm personally not a fan of, um, you know, like a mech is a mech, right? You know, if you have standard, um, it, you know, it's like an infantry, but it hits tanks well. So it fulfills that purpose with any CO that uses it. But with Max, it's like a Max mech doesn't benefit from his superpowers at all, whereas a vehicle really benefits. So I personally stay away from Max as Max um, for that reason, and I try to go more into vehicles so that I get more units that um, get you know plus two boot, plus two movement, and um, a firepower boost on super CO power. Uh oh. Replay is dying. Gotta refresh here. Okay. So we had the new mech here. So now Disco Dave is making his move. Uh, looks like this imagery didn't move anywhere, which is a little suspicious, but sometimes you just miss units. Um, so that happens. Okay, an interesting disco. Ooh, spice. Okay, so double B copter, double base skip. Um, because he has zero money left over. So 
it's it looks cool for sure, but again, Della base skip you really want to avoid. You want to pump out. You, you want to get the you you want to get your unit count up. Um, that's just kind of like the general advice for beginners. And uh, if you if you don't obey that advice, then eventually you just like when when you have a lot more units than your opponent, or let's say, yeah, I mean, let's say your opponent has a lot more units than you, they can shield more effectively and then you you'll just find that people can like come up with really clever ways to shield after they attack so that you can't do a lot of damage back and that's that's the core issue with having a low unit count okay Okay. <laughs> oh my lord, we have a double max artillery. Okay. Um I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I've never seen this in my life. Okay, he must not know. He must not know. He must be new to the game and he just doesn't know that max artillery are really bad. So Okay, so normal artillery can fire a square further in every direction. And max artillery are really bad, so they can't do that. So they're like, oh, they're really bad. Yeah, um, this is like the ultimate meme, like building artillery with max. So either this guy is a meme lord and he like has no fear of losing, or he just is new to the game and doesn't doesn't know the basics, so... But holy moly, I've never seen that before. Okay. Oh, all right. Just gotta breathe through this. Um, yeah, Disco Dave, like in the swag factor, he is in the swag department. He is like sorely lacking. I, he's he's not lacking. He's showing some like some unconventional swag, but he's getting out swagged pretty hard right now. Um, yeah, like that is. Never in my life. Okay, and then Disco Dave with tank tank and a base skip. Of all the things to base skip, like two tanks and then a single base skip isn't so bad because like the two tanks are really valuable usually. Um, so it's not the worst thing to base skip. And then the other thing is like if you look at the unit count, um, the unit count is twenty to sixteen at the end of Disco Dave's turn. So like it's okay with if he loses a if he base skips here and there, like it, it doesn't turn out to be that big a factor, but it's just that he doesn't grow his unit count so that it becomes a factor. Like take take the free handouts when you can. So Alright, so good amount of damage here. Looks like okay, so Max going with a pretty aggressive build here with a B copter in the face of this B copter. Um, so we'll see if Disco Dave decides to initiate on this B copter. Um, and there's no defense that air units gain from an airport, so like um, Disco Dave Dave will win the B copter fight. Um, it's just going like really deep. So I mean, another alternative alternative is just to see where else this B copter can go on the map um, instead of just you know crashing down onto this B copter on the airport. Okay, so this tank is really fearless. Um, it's just attacking an infantry with no backup against the B copter. So that's a pretty rough look for this tank here. Um, although honestly, it is preventing this capture completely, so it's, it's not the craziest thing in the world. Um, just, yeah, I guess there's no way for Max to afford two B-copters, which he would really kind of like if he can shield them properly. But anyways, this is the move, and then attacking here, I mean, it delays this city for a long time, so maybe it's worth it in the long run. Okay, and indeed Disco Dave, um, oh, I see, there was actually shielding here. 
Oh, I see. I missed that. Okay, so this B copter was shielded properly. Um, although I think the recon might kill the mech, but anyways, I think Disco Dave finds the the better move, which is attacking the artillery for free. Um, I mean, I guess it's like it's weakening kind of a useless unit, but it is forcing a repair, which is kind of expensive. Um, so you, I, there's like an argument for attacking the mech and then killing it with the infantry instead. Um, either one seems vaguely okay. Yeah, the recon killed the mech, so he could have gone for the B copter trade, but eh, this is this is just a this is just free damage, free real estate. Okay, so attacking, attacking. Okay, going deep with this tank seems like a not the best idea because it still gets hit by the helicopter. Um, it it all all it does is it delays the airport build for one turn. Um, well, yeah, I don't know. I guess also it forces the helicopter back instead of initiating onto this one. But I don't think Sammy wins a nine versus ten HP helicopter fight if the if her opponent is max. Okay, so yeah, I mean, taking the free damage makes total sense. Um, so the, moving this B-copter to hit the recon uh, feels a little bit like, if it kind of feels like this B-copter really wants to go to the center to shoo away this guy. Um, or at least build an anti-air here, which would be free to sh shove it away. So um, given that neither happens, this B-Counter has another free turn in the center, which is something you want to avoid. <clears throat> yeah, and then here's even another turn. I mean, I, I totally agree with this recon move to sit on the airport and force the B-copter to go take another turn out of its um out of its lifetime to stay away from the center and like go into the far corner of the map where it doesn't have very much influence. Um so yeah, a really great move by Disco Dave to uh move the recon onto the airport, force the B-copter back even further, um, and then get some chunk damage at the same time. So yeah, that's like a it's a very, very good move by Disco Dave. I kind of forgot where I was, so we're just going to... This looks new. Okay. Okay. Um. Looks like Ringtail had a opportunity... Oop. I think that kind of messed it up. Uh, well, anyways, there were some, there was some opportunity here for this infantry to go and crap this tank, um, which seems like it would have been a good idea. Um, I guess there's a way to free it. I don't know. I'm like reading too far into it, but yeah, maybe maybe consider moving this infantry over and trapping it, and maybe that'll give you another few free hits on this tank. Oh, okay, never mind. The, the bee copter just dies. Um, which is sad for the bee copter. So when we talk, when I was talking about unit count earlier, like this is the kind of stuff you can do. Like right here, this big blob, the B-copter got in, made a free attack within range of the anti-air, and then a bunch of infantry stopped up the wall so that the walled up so that the uh, anti-air can no longer hit the uh, B-copter. So when you have more stuff, you can it's more easy to make formations like this and just take a non-free hit and turn it into a free hit. Okay, and at this point, Disco Dave's looking like he's in pretty good shape. Um, like, by the by the numbers, he has twice the unit value, which is always a good place to be, and is up um, two property. Four property? Two properties? 
two properties. Um, so yeah, looking like really good shape for Disco Dave. And then like, just um, if you look at kind of the board state, um, Disco Dave's strength is that he has a bunch of, like a bunch of vehicles in the center that are overwhelming um, max here. Um, and generally speaking, just like having control of the center means that you can pick where you get to engage and you get to move back and forth and like uh, just sort of, it's it's easier to seek, it's, it's easier to search for new threats. So you just like sniff things out by moving around in the center, seeing if you can find a weakness. Okay, now there's another artillery here, so we're now up to three max artillery. I didn't know that this was going to happen, by the way. You can probably tell by my reaction. I was just, I was not expecting Disco Dave to get out Disco Dave. Okay, so yeah, really, really great attack here by Disco Dave. And and like I don't know as as much as I sort of like joke about this like Disco Dave really has improved like big time he's definitely made steps in the right direction his openings are more conventional in in, in a good way um, and I think that his tactics like his his fighting um, make more sense like there it's getting stronger that's probably the best way to say it. Okay, so max super CO power here. Um, just very sad looking artillery. Um, I mean, if it was a tank, it could have killed any of these infantry for free. So you see, actually, with that um, max force, we can just really quickly. So that's a vehicle on vehicle shot, and that's a kill. That's that's good. Nearly kills, nearly one shots a tank with a B copter. So like, that's really good. Um, this is pretty good. I, mean, I guess the issue with this is like now a B copter strikes it. Um, but I mean the vehicle shots that Max does this turn are really beneficial. It's just he does not have many vehicles, and then the vehicles that he did have just kind of die as he attacks. Also, it looks like a max artillery is about to get a shot off, which is pretty remarkable. Okay, so yeah, even with max force, a, a first strike from a Sammy B copter is gonna. I, it looks like it's gonna win. So the, the, the max B copter loses. So yeah, lovely seven damage right there, which is. Okay, no need to. Um, Attack from the base, though. You definitely want to attack from the silo so you can build something on the base. Again, just like the whole idea of keeping the unit count up. Okay, and then this turn is the game-winning turn. Um, take a look here at the, the, the difference in um, property count. So Disco Dave is at 19 properties and ringtails at um, 14. So there's actually a rule in this game or in all global league games where if you capture a certain number of properties, you immediately win the game. So what we're going to see here is that win condition. So Disco Dave goes for victory march, which means you, all of your infantry capture everything immediately. There's like, they doesn't matter what HP the infantry is at. It fully captures every property it goes to, so it captures this property, and now it's now he's up 20 to 14. Does a few hits. Captures this property, and now he's up 21 to 13. Now he captures this property, and then it's game over. Eliminated by capture. So yeah, that's like a kind of fun little win condition you don't see too often, but... um. Yeah, um, that was an interesting game for sure. Um, I think the main takeaways are 
Um, you don't count as king when it comes to decisions about bases, when to skip bases, when to not capture bases. Just basically, like, as you're working your way up, um, think, in, think in terms of, like, how can I maximize the number of units that I have um, when it comes to that sort of stuff. And then um, I think that we saw the power of Disco Dave controlling the center here. And then he kind of, like, put a lot of pressure onto this one base, kind of stuck it into a corner, and then instead of, like, uh, bashing his tanks into it, he kind of finds other targets down in here, which I think is a really good move. Um, yeah, and then we saw what uh, capture, what, what um, capture by Elimination was. Oh, yeah, and we also saw three max artillery, one of which even got a strike in, so... Yeah, that was pretty new and different. So, um, yeah, GG to both those players. Um, hopefully both continue to play, continue to grow, and continue to give us fun games to look at.